Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastri Kaal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Nananam Anjali Hey. And today, the news that just came out, a 15-year veteran of the CIA was charged with spying and sending secrets to China. Not the first time we've heard this. No. No. I feel like these are coming out more and more. It's been professors, people um, connected to large companies selling um, information back to China um, so that the company has to pay more money. It's just, we've heard it from the FBI time and time again. We've heard it from President Trump time and time again, how it's a threat to our national security. But when people come here from China take the citizenship and get the jobs here. We are, we would like to believe that people coming here are coming here for a better life, for freedom of speech, to be able to, to have the job, the house, the amount of kids they want, and, and not to be under the oppression of the CCP. That's my assumption, right? Yeah. Not that you're gonna come here and then sell secrets back to China for a couple thousand dollars. That's all it is, like your allegiance to. So you come here, you pledge your allegiance to the United States. You say you work at CIA. That's like the top of the top in the government. Yeah. Like, and then you go, you retire, and now you're selling your secrets that you've learned back to your motherland. Why did you come here in the first place? You know? Yeah. Yeah, because this is not the first time China's lied, and it mm-hmm. definitely won't be the last time. And we've had our own experience with China's lying. Yep. We've gotten two packages of seeds that said on the outside they were earrings, did not say exactly where they came from, and said it was by unknown. Yeah, and came through the mail system yeah. somehow. Um, yeah, let's hope the U.S. Postal Service has fixed that fix the system in that respect but it it's not going to be the last time i'm sure more of these stories are going to come out unfortunately um you know the thing is we feel like when you come here and you take the oath and you say you're going to be a u.s citizen you come here for a better life united states of america is your country is that's where your allegiance should be you know my husband has come from india he took the oath here in the United States. If if U.S. went to war, he would be suiting up and helping out. There's no question about that. When you come here for a better life, for a better job, better opportunities, you want this to be your country, you take the oath to stay here and make this your motherland. This yeah. is your new motherland. You keep your culture, you keep your food, you can keep some of your customs, and nobody's telling you you have to be a completely different person. Um, you don't have to change your name to Alexander. Yuk um, Ching Ma. So you don't need an American name to feel like you're part of the United States of America. Yeah. But your allegiance, your heart should be here. If you take or, that oath. Yeah, or should be where you went to, should be the country you're standing in. Yeah. If you don't like it here, don't come. And if you're here and you don't like being in the United States, it's not what you thought, your allegiance is still back home, go back home. Yeah. And if you don't like it, find a country that you like. You're doing no service to anybody living in a country that you don't agree with, that you don't like the policies, that your heart is not there because then stuff like this happens. Yeah. You know, and and it's not doing good for you if you hate being here it's not doing good for this country or the country you love yeah the country you love could be profiting from you and you from them like go somewhere where you're going to do good for the country and then feel like the country is doing good for you nothing is ever going to be perfect but if your allegiance is not here then don't stay the door is open don't do this yeah. This is just wrong. 
on so many levels, you know, and like you said, it's not going to be the last time. Um, my favorite quote from this article is, um, the trail of Chinese espionage is long and sadly strewn with former American intelligence officers who have betrayed their colleagues, their friends, people that they've worked with, live next door to. They're not like a terrorist that comes in black clothing with an AK-47 and you know he's going to blow your head off. They're worse. They're worse because they act like your friend, your neighbor, your colleague. They buy you gifts for you know your birthday, your wedding. And yet they're slipping information back to China for a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. It's, yeah, betrayed their colleagues to support the communist regime, which is why I feel like people are coming here. Because the CCP is not doing right by its own people, people are leaving and coming here. But when you come here, this is your new allegiance. It or shouldn't don't come. still be with China. No. Like we said, you keep your customs, you keep your traditions, you keep your festivals. Nobody wants you to change all that. No. But your allegiance to the country now becomes here when you step on this ground. You know? Um, it It's more about, you know, the CCP doesn't care if you go to jail now. They've gotten their information. Yeah. They've paid you off and you're you're a done deal for them but it's the u.s now that has to deal with that burden has to now make things tighter now anyone who comes here that wants to be in these positions they're not going to hire chinese americans in these higher up positions because they can't trust them why because not only did you blow it for yourself you blew it for anyone else amongst you that could come and be in these positions and it's a bad name for china which supposedly is your motherland that you're trying to help so you badmouthed your motherland you badmouthed the country that's been feeding you now you're going to jail china doesn't give a crap about you and now the u.s now has to tighten 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 some more and they're not gonna treat the Chinese Americans that do come here for good reasons the way that they should be because you're yeah. ruining the name over and over and over again. We'd like to think this will never happen again, but it's happened so many times that... Yeah. It will just be a matter of time before somebody else gets found out. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are on the radar that we haven't heard about either in the news. But um, this is the one that just came out today. So uh, I hope you guys thought it was informative.